Now we're going to go into a little bit of the Destiny 2 next because Bungie have posted a massive update on the future of Destiny 2. And we're about two weeks away from Destiny 2 Lightfall at this point, the next major expansion for Bungie's ongoing first person shooter. Now, leaning up to the release, the developers are sharing some goals for the future of Destiny. Now, on Bungie.net, the studio acknowledged that the steady stream of content updates has made the game feel like a known quantity to its dedicated fan base. Now, Destiny 2's Joe Blackbourne wrote, but amid the quality and consistency, Destiny 2 can sometimes feel too predictable. And the team also addressed complaints that there is just not enough to do in Destiny 2. That rhymes, not intentional. But recognize that the most hardcore players often run out of content to dig into by the, by the end of each season. And with those issues basically laid out, the team has listed four big goals for Destiny 2 moving forward. That includes expanding players' imaginations, bring challenge back to Destiny, enrich content, and connect Guardians. Now, Destiny 2 Lightfall is coming on February 28th, so they've really, really vamped that out for you. But we're gonna have a chat now with another one of our Jinx regulars. We've got James Wright on the show, who's gonna tell us all about it. How are you, James? You good? Yeah, all good. Thank you for having me yet again. Of course, any time. You know your stuff. Now, I mean, what, from that announcement from Bungie, what do you think to the latest statement and what they're kind of wanting to do with the, the Destiny 2 Lightfall? I mean, if if you play Destiny even sort of semi-regularly, I'd suggest everyone go have a read of it because obviously it's 5,000 words. I'm probably not going to do it justice in this small segment. <laughs> it's kind of really dive into all the little details so it's worth having a, a kind of a proper read of it but i think it, it, the kind of top line stuff of what they said they're going to do i think is definitely helpful for both uh maybe lapsed players that, yeah. that kind of might have fallen away towards the end of of this year and also the kind of more hardcore players that are there every week i guess um just like li even sort of smaller things i think make a, a big difference like not having quite so many currencies because you, you kind of do kind of lose track with how many different things there are to kind of <laughs> keep up with. Uh, having fewer vendors so there's less people that you're kind of having to run to for kind of getting bits and pieces from one week to the next uh i, I think also that they made quite a big point about trying to make the game a lot more challenging mm. which i guess for it, i mean if you consider the game's been around since 2017 for those more hardcore players that like i said are there every week that are playing all the content that the game's got to offer having i don't know a bit more of a difficulty curve that kind of keeps it a bit more challenging for them yeah. for the next year i think is definitely kind of a big step forward i guess is, is that kind of what the statement was kind of referring to when it was saying it's too predictable because people just know what they're getting with it and it's not very exciting i think the 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 comment about how predictable it is, I think, is more, I guess, to do with the uh, activities that players have got from one week to the next and, yeah. and even from one season to the next. Um, like I said, the game's been around for quite a few years, so trying to kind of uh, fit all the different kind of content <laughs> and activities you can do from one season or one year to the next is very difficult. They have to sunset a lot of different, um, different content as well, and I guess... The problem that they uh, encounter now, having been around for so long, is that some of the activities people have played hundreds of times over. And, and yeah. that is somewhat the nature of a game where you've got to grind for kind of better kind of weapons and armor and all stuff like that. But I think that they just want to try and, from what I could gather from the, the kind of blog post, they want to try and have a bit more of a commitment to kind of adding new activities into the game and to having uh, maybe kind of tweaks to the existing activities to try and make them a bit more fresh so that it's not just the same thing as what you've experienced last year and and sometimes that can go a long way like even just having if there's a strike that's been in the game for a couple of years just making the effort to kind of change it up so it's not the exact same as it's been for the last yeah. two years i think difference if you're there every week playing it yeah that seems like the main issue and they have obviously laid out those four goals that they kind of want to hit so hopefully they do i mean we won't, we won't until the game obviously for till the 20th of february but like we'll have to wait and see yeah and i mean that there'll be a ton of new content regardless in the yeah. game because there'll be the new campaign there'll be the new strand um subclass that they're adding into it there'll be a ton of new weapons that there'll be plenty of that i think it's more about for them how do they approach all that legacy content and yeah. try and find a way to make it as fresh so they're not relying just on everything that's new in the game that they're actually giving people a reason to play all that old content um 
and giving people a reason to play it because like I said, it will be different from what people have experienced for the last year, the last two years that has previously been in there. Um, and I, th I think that's important because once you've reached that kind of end point of all the new stuff that's in the game, you want a reason to explore all that old content over and over again. Definitely. I think that's, I mean, where do you think, James? I mean, it's going to go in the future. I mean, what do you think is the future for Destiny at this point? I th well, I mean, after Lightfall, they've got one more expansion, which they might change the name of, but that's called The Final Shape, and that's what's coming out well. effectively in February 2024. After that, it's I think it's more likely that Bungie uh, move away from Destiny, and mm. they've got a new IP that they're working on, which I think is called Matter. Okay. I don't think they'll. I don't think they're going to move away from Destiny like completely in the same way that they just completely moved away from Halo once they were done with that. Yeah. I still think that we're going to see them exploring Destiny in, in kind of different ways. Like you look at, they joined PlayStation and one of the big statements they made was about kind of um, trying to kind of do like new transmedia with with their IPs. And so I think it's more likely yeah. that we'll see them do stuff like an equivalent cyberpunk edge runners thing, but with Destiny yeah. or just, new ways to exp maybe like new uh spin-off games that are in different genres it's not like a first person shooter i think it, once they've reached the conclusion of they keep calling it the light and dark saga yeah which is what presumably we'll get at the end of the next expansion coming out next year yeah. i think once they've reached that conclusion they can probably safely move over to a new game and a new ip but i don't think we'll see them ever completely drop destiny because it's just such a big ip for them now absolutely i think that's correct i mean like well live service games have had something of a bad rap as well uh, do you think destiny fans still appreciate the games and stuff like that even with all that kind of going on yeah definitely like it's i think this is just like the natural point we've reached with yeah. like i said the game been out since 2017 it, they obviously had destiny one before that so they had to build up all that kind of player base again but i think what we're just seeing now is the growing pains of a game that's like five years old and there's only so much they can like i said they've had to sunset a lot of content yeah. so there's only so much they can change the game yeah. and add to the game without it all completely breaking and i think we're just seeing the the kind of last throes of of a game trying to deal with that i guess yeah um they do their best with it but i think the appetite for the game and the fan base is still huge so i think and there's always kind of these sort of small complaints towards the end of a year yeah. for destiny like witchfall was a fantastic uh, witchfall um the campaign that they released at the end of uh at the start of last year was really well received and all the content was fantastic but we're just getting to the end of that life that life cycle now yeah and we're right at the cusp of a brand new life cycle with lightfall expansion and I'm sure that the game will, again, be massive once again, once that's come out. But I think it's just, it's just difficult for them. I think they're, they're kind of managing to find that balance between keeping fans happy and not yeah. break the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. It's a fine line, isn't it? Well, James, thank you so much once again for going into that for us. You've explained it way better than I could. And uh, hopefully fans are all looking forward to it with these changes in place. So fingers crossed. But thank you so much, James. Oh, thank you. Cheers, catch you next time.